We're going to show you how to make these beautiful Google Street View blue lines that you can put onto Google Maps and have beautiful 360 pictures. You can take thousands of them in 15 minutes and put it up to Google Street View all at one time. So the entire process of taking, in this case it's 2.2 kilometers, uh, might take you 15 minutes and then you have to upload it to Google Street View Studio and let it process there. But the process is very easy and we'll show you how to do it with your beautiful Rico Theta X. The first step is to place your Rico Theta X on top of a monopod. You only need a monopod that's a couple feet long, maybe even a foot long, so you could theoretically use a selfie stick, no problem. We're going to walk on the trail with the selfie stick over our head. On the Theta X LCD panel, I have Bluetooth and Wi Fi disabled, and I have the GPS turned on. I have 1.3 EV compensation, which I actually should have turned off. When you, before you take the video, you need to set this thing to 8K 2 FPS, and also make sure that the triangle for the location is actually solid white. Once you have the video set up with 8K 2 FPS and the GPS is on, then you place the selfie stick or the monopod over your head a couple feet above it and you'll get some pretty good results. When you're walking around like this, the LCD screen usually is going to be off. I think you want to enable it to turn off. And to save power and reduce heat, you want to have the Wi-Fi off. So when the GPS is not uh, fully enabled, like it didn't start yet, there's an outline here on the triangle at the top. So I'm going to swipe down from the... So I have it clicked here, but because it hasn't found the satellites yet, uh, it will be outlined. Once it's found the satellites, now we're good to go. So I'm going to click on the... So in video mode, you have to be in video mode. And it says 8K 2 FPS here. So I clicked on that, the gear icon, and you, you want to have this video live view off to reduce heat and conserve battery. The video size is 8K 2 FPS. The bit rate here, I have it the lowest setting. I don't think it matters uh, for, you know, because the Google Street View Studio, I, I believe is transcoding it. I don't think it actually improves the quality, although you could test it yourself, right? So it'll make the file bigger if you increase the bit rate. And in my test, I set it to the eight, uh, the lowest bit rate to um, at least make sure that it, it gets up to Google Street View and can process it. And I've set the maximum recording time to 25 minutes, which I was successfully able to record numerous times uh, in the sunlight walking around, although there are some heat considerations. So it's not guaranteed. You might want to test it before you do your shoot. Uh, the process is very straightforward. Uh, you simply press this upload button here, and then you drag and drop your Rico Theta X video with GPS enabled onto this area here. The processing, once after you upload it, it may take a few days. Uh, so it's not immediately going to be translated into these type of images. The starting point of the Google Street View is my office. And I went out and I walked a few kilometers. And you can see I walked out through the parking lot out into the Baylands. And we can actually view this on Google Maps here. And you can see that it looks completely normal like you would expect it on a Google Maps. But it's actually the pictures that I took. You can see here it's from Craig Oda. And I walked all the way out into the nature preserve by our office. You can still see that it's this Craig Oda uh, street view here. And if I minimize this, 
get a pretty good view of what it looks like um, by our office. That's me right there. I have the EV compensation, uh, I think it's set to 1.3 for this video. So it's actually a little blown out, the colors. Uh, I think you can get a better settings here. I was actually testing it in the office and I forgot to turn off the EV compensation. You can see the clarity is excellent. I encourage you to give it a try. On the Theta360.guide community, Juan Tonto, uh, also known as Toyo Fujita from 360 Ecoma, started this topic here about using Google Street View Studio to make these blue lines with both the Theta X and the Theta Z1. And I have more detailed screenshots as to what you need to do. Uh, there's also sample, um, different types of samples that you can click on the actual Street View at different scenes, like it's some of Toyo's work is pretty fantastic here. Um, also, there's information on this other tool here, UL2GSV, that you can use with the, the Z1. And if you go through this, you can see that PZ Man Yan, he took uh, eight videos in sequence at 25 minutes. So each video is 5.67 gigabytes. So as far as thermal throttling or a thermal shutdown, I think if you're using 8K2 FPS and you're walking, it should be fine. Uh, he even has the, the temperature, ambient temperature here, 25C for his uh, his videos, he took eight videos in a row at 8K 2 FPS. It's pretty fun to do this. So, PZ Man Yang, I guess he went to this beautiful location. Um, I think it's in Hong Kong. But you can really have some fun here and show your friends what your local area is like. Remember, this is from the 8K 2 FPS video. And the quality, it, it, it looks fantastic in my opinion. Look at that. So if you do um, produce some interesting scenes like this, I'd be very interested to see it. You can drop a link to it in the forum. And we look really look forward to hearing from you.